What is up, my gang? What is up, my squad? Kings and queens, jits, kids, and teens. I am back with another video with Food Last Sky. Now, before I start this video, I do want to give a shout out to a few supporters. So, the first one would be Darrington White, Stitch TV, L Smooth, and Betty Cash Out. Thanks for the support. Thanks for always watching my videos. I will be doing this all through the week, so stay tuned. Make sure you touch that bell so you can be notified every single time I post. Now, with that being said, let's get into the video. Now, I'm going to break this down best I can. We got YB, we got Jack Boy, and we got KB in the office. But let's talk about YB mother speaking up, and let's talk about this Nino Brown person. So, if you are in tune with my channel, and you are receiving all of my notifications, then you know a dude by the name of Nino Brown. He is an Instagram influencer. He confronted YB through a video. He confronted YB about saying those things about Mayweather. YB responded. He responded to YB again and told YB that he would have sex with YB mother. Not only that, though, he said he was catching the flight to go meet up with YB because he wanted a one-on-one, -on -one, no security guards, no nothing, just hands-on. Don't talk about my child, because guess what? That's a grown little man over there. That's a grown man over there. And I promise you, I don't want my child running behind nobody, going look for nobody, or none of that. Don't do none of that. I don't want my child doing none of that. But I'm telling this to any body that got breath in their body. If you go at him, and if you go to him, he better let every bullet out he got in his bitch, and he better reload it and let that bitch out again. You can go looking for trouble. You get it. Fuck you think. Yo, bitch, this can't threaten nobody. Fuck you think. Bitch, you making me feel pain. You wanna fuck me. Bitch. I'm gonna marry your bald head ass mama. I'm gonna put a ring. I'm gonna get her this ring. I'm gonna marry your motherfucking raggedy ass mama. And I'm gonna beat your ass legally. I'm gonna take my belt. with my motherfucking belt? Huh? So that's that. Now, let's get into this Kodak situation. Like I told y'all, and like I always say, if you are into one of my channels, then you know these two have been going at it all weeks. I have been doing several videos about these two. Kodak put this video on his Instagram page, and he says, ain't no smoke, man. So I guess we're going to let bygones be bygones. Well, Jack Boy, he's not done. He had a mouthful to say. He's still pulling up old videos on Young Boy and 3-3, and this is what he posted to his Instagram story. Take your goddamn hands out my goddamn pants. So that's that. Y'all let me know what y'all think of my comment section below. But y'all know how I get. We don't make short stories long. So uh allegedly, apparently, Kodak Black is having some troubles with the fed. So the dude posted this to his Instagram, man. These people trying to me over. All this coronavirus and y'all talking about trying to charge an N-word for a bogus fight. If y'all going to charge me, do it now. Don't try to wait until I'm almost home. Heck no. Then if y'all charging me, why y'all letting me out the box? On top of that, y'all send me way to Kentucky, USP, Big Sandy, a thousand miles away from my family. At the DT, passed the First Step Act stating that the BOP is supposed to keep you within 500 miles of your family everybody know big sandy is the worst penitentiary in bop besides hazelton y'all sent ti to a low and sent gucci man to th so why the f y'all sent kodak black to big sandy people know how i'm rocking they know i ain't no b and i'll blow me some up so they send me to the compound where there's only three n words from florida there so regardless of who talking like they got my back I'm going to need an effing knife because I don't know nobody. These people are breaking all types of laws with me. First of all, y'all sent me way past my radius. Second, that is double jeopardy because y'all have already sanctioned me to five months in the box. Took my phone calls for six months. Took my email and my commissary for six months. Everyone in the feds know they cannot turn around and charge you after they serve you your sh. So why are they trying to do me like that? Third of all, with a new charge over my head, I'm never supposed to be let out of the box. I'm supposed to be going to court for it. 
These people setting me up, letting me out the box, and sending me to the worst penitentiary so I can get in some more trouble. So when they do decide to bring me to court, they can have some more sh to say. Y'all, now, more on this situation is on my Instagram page at That's Some Fire. So do not hesitate to follow me. And once you get to my Instagram page, turn on the post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post there and on YouTube. Y'all know I love y'all. It's all love. Thanks for the support. I'm out.